So, I did think about it, and I was like, you know what, I do have some things to say about Star Wars Eclipse. Not a lot, but I do have some things to talk about Star Wars Eclipse, and I thought it would be, um, I thought it would be, like, a good time to kind of talk about all that stuff. So, here we go. So, Star Wars Eclipse, for those who don't know, is a game that is coming out, I believe, next year or the following, that is going to take place in the High Republic. Which, by the way, the, the High Republic is an era that I haven't really gotten into, mostly because I... Like, I know they're trying to really pimp it out, but, like, there's so much stuff to it, like, it feels very all-encompassing, and I'm like, man, this is really, like... I'll just stick with the... I'll just stick with what I have. And I'm not trying to say that's bad. If you like the High Republic stuff, that's totally fine. I think it's a really cool era. It's a... Um, it's a really cool era. And, you know, we are going to see the end of the High Republic in Star Wars The Acolyte. But, um, the High Republic, for those who are also unaware, is, like, the high point of the Jedi. Like, this is, like, the the Sith are no longer around, um, there, the galact there's a galactic peace, and there's tons of Jedi around, but there is, like, conflict there. Like, you are seeing the cracks form that would lead to the fall of the Jedi Order. Um... And I'm pretty sure, like, um, the main the main villains are the Nile, which are, like, these barbarians who, like, will kill you and take your stuff, but we don't believe in anything. Which I'm still convinced, like, they are going to play a role in, um, the Acolyte, because I'm convinced the Acolyte is basically going to be, it was the Sith the whole time who were orchestrating everything. Like, this was, like, the first, like, big, um, like, big move out for them, and using the Nile. But what's also fascinating is that um, what's also a really fascin um, what's also a really fascinating point is that in here we have um, the Nemoidians has looked like they're going to be a big threat too. Nemoidians have always been like a like it leaves to the Nemoidians to ruin everything, right? Like they got uh, they wanted their they set up a blockade and ended up spilling into the making uh, making uh the clone wars happen leading to the extinction of the jedi all because taxes and that how it always goes right people but yeah the nemoidians actually look like they've got an army they have like forces and they look like they're not fucking around so this is not like the newt gunray nemoidians these are like the hardcore like we're gonna mess you up nemoidians um also Say what you want about Star Wars video games, regardless of how good they, uh, how good or bad they are. Um, it's they always have a great, great trailers. This was no different. I love the drum beats everywhere. Um, how they, ha how, like how the sound design was really good. Like this trailer, you don't know what's going on. You just know it's Star Wars and it sounds cool. That's really all you really needed for Star Wars Eclipse. Um, this also speaking of. I think, we, while we don't know the gameplay, I have heard, and I'm pretty sure this is what it's going to be, is like, it's going to be kind of like um, Knights of the Old Republic, where it's kind of like the choices you make throughout this open world kind of game. So, since we're already getting the remake of Knights of the Old Republic, I figured this is going to be for all the other systems. Um, so this is going to be like that replacement, since it's going to be exclusive, the Knights of the Old Republic game is going to be, the remake is going to be exclusively on... Uh, PS5. I figured they wanted to have, like, other games out there, too. Um, which, yeah, I I get it, but, like, at the same time, I'm like, why not just make the the remake exclusive, like, non-exclusive to just PS5? Like, that game started out as an Xbox game primarily. Why does it get, why is it now going to, P, to the PS, uh, to the PlayStation games? Ugh. But I digress. So, yeah. I'm excited. Um, it does look like it. I don't have. I have no idea about the story. All I know is that we have Jedi here. We do get a quick glance of Yoda, um, and we got the Nile. We did see a quick glimpse of the Nile, and we got um, the Nemoidians as like a big part of this story as well, which I'm fine with. Looks like we're not. It does look like we're going to get like early versions also of the. Um, of the protocol droids, as well as you know, some really cool ship battles. The High Republic, even though I'm not, uh, I I'm not saying like I'm a, I'm not a fan of it or I hate it. I really don't. It's just like something about it just made me go, eh. I prefer. Uh, 
I like the. I, I think it's a cool era in time to have in Star Wars, and it and it's very clear that Disney and Star War, Disney and everyone really wants to pi- uh, pimp the High Republic out because it's like it's oh, it's real open ground. Um, but like it's just it, like for me, I was just like, eh, it's just not rolling with me. Anyway, so yeah, but this does look really cool. Um, the trailer was really awesome. Again, uh, say what you want, no matter how good or bad those v- the Star Wars games are, they're always going to have... Re- they're nine times out of ten going to have really good trailers to accompany them. Even battle the even the Battlefront trailer... Battlefront 2 trailer had a really good one, too. Like, uh, all clear, Psh, not clear, not clear. Yeah, so... You guys tell me the, so. You guys tell me in the t- comments below. What did you guys think of the trailer for Star Wars Eclipse? Did you guys like it? Hate it? Comment below. Let me know. As always, if you haven't already, go check out the link below to my Patreon. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.